Okay, so in this video, we're gonna go over Dagger, getting started with Dagger. Uh, first thing you wanna do, uh, I created an uh, Android project with one empty activity. So when you go through the startup wizard, it's, there's just one activity, main activity. Uh, where's the manifest? I'll show you. Um, yep, just a basic activity. Uh, empty as a layout file. Here it is. Nothing much there. All right, so now that you did, uh, you make an activity, empty activity, go to your build gradle file. This one, the innermost one, the app, not that one, the project, not this one. Close that. All right, so I want to add some things here. Uh, right here in your plugins, you want to add something. I'm going to grab it right here. I copied it. Ba, ba, ba. We're going to grab this one. Okay. Right here. All right, add that. And then go down here. All right, we're going to add some more. I'm going to grab all these. These are your dependencies. I don't like to do this, so I'm going to change this to that. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. Uh, let's see. If you use the support libraries, you need this, this line. I do not, so I'm going to delete it. All right. So you need those three dependencies right here and add that to your plugins and go ahead and sync wait for that to sync all right looks like it did it um, so I'm going to close this file and all right let's start with let's open this up Okay, let's start with, um, let's say we have a, a car app, right? All right, we need to make some cars. So, um, if we did, let's see, wait in it bar, car, it's of type car. That model doesn't exist yet, so let me make that. Go over here, command click, or control click, new Kotlin class, we'll call it car. Add this, we're gonna add a constructor. What goes in the constructor? We have, uh, let's see, how about wheels? Uh, and another variable, engine. All right. Let's go ahead and make those as well. Uh, wheels. Add a constructor to this as well. And then make the other one. New column class. Uh, what was it? Uh, engine. Okay. All right, we have the car. All right, now let's see. So we have our models, a car. Car takes an engine and um, wheels. And there's also a function here. Let's call it uh, drive. And what does drive do? Uh, let's add a log to this. So log. Log T for the tag, call it car, it can't be const because it needs to be a companion object. Um, let's move it to companion object, cool. And then we'll add a log here, log debug, drive, uh, room. Okay. So, 
the way we're used to doing this would be car equals make a new instance of car and then pass it a new instance of wheels and an instance of engine all right and then we could do car dot drive all right so that's how we're used to doing it we pass the dependent oh i forgot i have multiple jdks so let me ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. i have to do something okay now let me run it Is it running? It's taking a while. Okay, it's installing, running. All right, it ran. Let's look at the logs. Change this to debug and put that tag in there. And there we go. Um, so doing the same thing with Dagger, let's make a con class. We'll call it car component. Make it an interface. Add this. First thing you want to do is annotate it with component. All right, OK. Add a function, call it get car, and it returns a car. Cool. Now, let's see. Um, it needs to know how to know how to make a car. So let's go to our wheels model first, and we'll add at inject. Okay. And let's go to our engine model, and we'll add at inject. Okay, and then car as well, at inject. All right, and you see these things. Here's a dependency graph. It's starting to do it. it shows, you can see. It's one way. All right, get car goes one thing, goes here, and then there's points one depend dependency and then the other. Now let's go back to main activity, and I do this before super, so let's get, uh, let's make a car component. So val car, let's just call it component. Uh, and then it said equal to dagger car. Oh, wait, we we'll probably have to. Um, let's stop this and then do a rebuild. You have to do a rebuild every time for the, the graph to rebuild itself. Let me make changes. So let it rebuild. <clears throat> Okay, rebuilt. And there we go. Now we have dagger car component, and then you call create. Creates the component, and then from that component, uh, we can call component component dot get car, and there we go. We don't have to create instances of the wheels of the engine. Dagger knows how to do all of that stuff automatically for you. So, all right, let's see. It looks like it ran. Let's look at Logcat. And there we go. This is the right emulator. Here's the live process. Oh, uh, what happened? Let me, let me, 
delete that and just call it again. I thought I might have been call getting called twice. All right, just got getting called once. And okay, got called once. Let's rotate it. Let's see what happens. Remember, when you rotate, the activity gets killed and recreated, and there we go. So this is the basics of creating a component. We have the car component. We have a function in here, get car. It returns type uh, uh, an instance of car. This is a class. Car is a class. We annotate the injector or the in constructor with inject. In here, um, the constructor, we have wheels and an engine, and it knows how to create those because those two are annotated with inject. And that is the basics of how a component works. Um, I think I went over everything I wanted to. Uh, let's see, get the component and activity. Yep, we did all that. And um, yeah, that's getting started. I'll see you in the next video. I uh, wanted to add one more thing. Um, so this is available on GitHub. The solution to this, uh, this video uh, is, I will put a link in the description, but I'm gonna push it right now. Let's see, get status. Uh, we added car, added Gradle stuff, okay. Added Gradle dependence. Dependencies and added car wheels. What was the other one? Engine, engine models and car component. Okay. All right. There we go, push that up to GitHub. Uh, it is branch one dash component. So uh, that's the, uh, each video is gonna be named like that. So, and there'll be a link. So watch this if you wanna see the solution to this. Thanks.